mornings are always my favorite time of the day. Hello and welcome to my Living in China vlog. This is me at Skyland with my team and we work together here in China. Cooling, <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay. Uh, in our uh, <laughs> you look really amazing. But you only It might interest you to know that Chinese people are really happy people, especially when they are around people they love and care about so much. But in this case, we are not actually in that situation right now. All of us are workers in the same company. <laughs> and this is what we call in Chinese, or would I say in English, team building. When we arrived at our destination, we first had to eat. And here is where we had our breakfast, stroke, lunch, I would call it. Let's go. Let's go. Please do tell me in the comment section if you recognize any of the edibles you see on the video because we are going to be eating from this. I can see different things that we have to choose from to eat and I must tell you, I know I don't eat seafood myself but most of these things you can see right now on your screen, they look really amazing and... Finally, we picked what we needed to eat and then went upstairs while we wait for the waiter to bring our meal. One thing I've observed living with Chinese people or would I say eating with them on the same table is the kind of conversations we have. Everyone is very open-minded and trust me, on the dining table, we talk about any and everything. <laughs> But imagine me a black man sitting with this group of amazing people having amazing time with them eating my lunch or would I say my breakfast and here with me is my director. I don't know if I have to introduce all of them to you but I guess you will see most of them often on my videos even though some you wouldn't be seeing them anymore for some reasons which I wouldn't be saying right now on the video but it's actually interesting. Alright so right now you're taking a walk down to the place and I have here with me my colleagues right here so the i don't know if you have ever experienced photo bombs or video bombs but this is my boss like the apex of the company and i like the fact that the working culture right here in china i don't know whether it's because i'm a foreigner working there but i think the working culture is very open in the sense that you don't really kind of feel like you're really a subordinate to your boss or something everyone kind of like works like family everyone talks to each other about in any and everything this is quite ahead in front <laughs> <laughs> so if, for you to see this kind of uh, relationship we have playfully i think it's really amazing as my experience living and working here in china and then we got to the main deal which is us um, i don't know how to call this in english you can help me in the comments but we are actually going to be riding this right now where we come all the way from the top down. Uh, so it's time for me to make history. I'll be following with my GoPro and I'll be going down here. So I'll see how it's going. And it was really, really amazing. Sometimes it's scary, but you know, for the fun of it, we had to try. So right now, let me give myself a shot at this. That's where I'm going. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh yeah. Now you know. Ah. What height? Oh. If you enjoyed watching this video, be sure to give me a like. One thing I always tell people about living here in China as a black person is always having an open mind to experience the people and experience the culture and just get in tune with the environment. 
uh, when I came to China two, three years ago, um, my mindset and the things I thought about the Chinese people is not how it is right now. But because I've lived here over time and gotten used to the environment, gotten used to the people, of course, sometimes you get to bump into people that don't just like you for any reason. But being a black person in China, I get to learn a lot from interacting with the people. I believe in experiencing wherever I find myself than just walking with hearsay because before I came here of course I used to watch videos here on YouTube about people creating content about their experience. Sometimes some things are actually staged but I like to be as real as possible as I share my experience and life here in China with the world but most especially for myself because one day I know I wouldn't be in China forever so uh, the memories I'm putting out right now on YouTube would help me remember my days here in China and maybe help someone out there that ever plans to maybe relocate to China or something and Doing what I do right here on YouTube is actually worth it and I thank my dear amazing wonderful viewers that keep watching my videos. It's 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 been an amazing journey with you guys. Mornings are always my favorite time of the day and it's super super amazing to have you right back on the channel. Whoa, we are growing so fast guys and uh it kind of feels good doing this. Behind me here is the school and Oh come on, I know you guys are actually used to seeing me on this particular street every morning but it's always fun for me to ride here with you. So please tell me in the comment section how are you doing in case you're watching this video 5 years later, 10 years later, 20 years later, <laughs> how are you doing? <laughs> anyway, um, right now I'm on my way to work and I just thought to show you guys the life over here in China. Remember, <laughs> I'm in the People's Republic of China and yes we keep it real <laughs> and welcome to george vlogs <laughs> you know hello everyone so i just got back from work now and i'm heading home and i have an interesting video to share with you so let's get straight into the video and uh if you haven't subscribed be sure to do so uh, i don't know if you can still see my face now can you see my face yes because um we'll see you later continue watching okay see you guys <laughs> 